Hi, I'm Shereen. I'm Scott. And we're the co-founders of NEMA. At NEMA, we're bringing peace of mind to mealtime, and our first product is a portable gluten sensor, and we're so excited to be here today. Quick recap and context on why we're doing what we're doing. It started with a really, 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 really bad stomach ache about 12 years ago that didn't go away for about three years. Um, I found out I couldn't eat gluten, dairy, egg, or soy. Um, I met Scott a number of years later, uh, three years ago actually, yeah. at MIT. And we were both really excited about helping people better understand what they're eating and what's actually in their food, starting with gluten. And so we worked three years to bring NEMA to life with an amazing team in San Francisco. And we're so excited to say that we're starting to fulfill our early supporters, pre-orders, um, starting at the end of the month throughout the fall. So an amazing day and we're so, so pumped to help show you the packaging. Yeah, so this is the official NEMA packaging. Uh, this is what you will get if you've ordered a NEMA. Uh, and so we want to take you through. We want to do a full unboxing with you. So as you can see here, front of the packaging has a beautiful little picture of NEMA on it. Um, the back, we give some information. Um, on the bottom here, we have uh, very, very important system requirements, a food sample of your choice, an appetite, and an optional mobile app. So uh, let's, let's open this up and, uh, and take a look at the magic. So um, as, as we remove the sleeve here, uh, one thing I want to call out is this color that we have on here. So this is our brand color that we call honey. And the reason that we use this is because it's that warm, that appetizing, um, just that, that really tasty color that we want to present to, to everyone who's, who's bought a Nima and who's in our community. So now for the, the full unveiling, here is Nima. Woo! Nima! <laughs> So uh, we designed this packaging to have NEMA always facing upright like this, and there's two reasons for that. Uh, one is that we're just really proud of NEMA, and we want NEMA to be presented in a beautiful way. Second is that it's really important for NEMA to stay upright when, uh, when the test is running. So let's, let's pull this out and uh, show you some other aspects of the box here. So the first important piece is the uh, quick start guide. So this is the instruction manual. So here you can see on the front we have instructions for use. Try to make it very simple and illustrate it for everyone. And on the back we have some more information that's uh, just really helpful. So some information on what you can test. Uh, testing limitations, all the different icons that could show up on the device itself. Um, and also for this uh, remember, you can always find this online to nemasensor.com slash nema manual, uh, and that will, will take you to the manual. Scott. Yeah. As the genius that was leading the team's genius behind this packaging, what was the most challenging thing about putting this together? What was Ooh, the biggest decision you had to make? The biggest de decision, yeah. So packaging design is surprisingly difficult, I've learned. <laughs> surprisingly I've learned difficult. Too. Yeah. So, you know, I think one of one of the biggest challenges was actually uh, this feature that I just talked about, having NEMA be presented upright like this. So uh, we thought it was really important to show NEMA in this way. And uh, at the same time, we wanted to make sure that the packaging was going to be really small and compact and uh, really just, I mean, look, look beautiful for users and not take up too much room. So figuring out how to do that in a nice way and present it really well. Uh, it, took, it took a few iterations to get there, <laughs> but we, uh, we're very happy with, with where it is now. Awesome. Uh, so what else is in here? So a very important piece, of course, is the capsule. So up here in the top, you get three capsules with the starter kit, which this is what we'll use to actually do a live test for you guys in just a minute. Shereen's going to run a test. Yep. Um, then also in here, with every NEMA, you get a USB cord. NEMA is USB rechargeable, so you can plug it in right in the back here, plug it into your computer or the wall. Um, and NEMA actually has a great battery life. So this will last for uh, about a month of usage, 30 tests, 30 days. Um, so the battery life is really good. You also get a pouch with every NEMA. So here I have one that's already open. So pouch has a logo in it, so you know it's the NEMA pouch. Inside there's two pockets. So one where you can slide your NEMA into, one that you can keep a couple capsules and bring this with you. So you can see it's pretty small. Uh, I bring mine with me in my pocket, just take it around. Um, and yeah, this is, this is the packaging, this is it. Great. So we're going to do a, a live test in just a minute here. I did see someone ask what NEMA means 
Nima means fair and equitable in Farsi, so we feel like we're just giving everyone a fair chance at staying happy and healthy and social at mealtime, and that's what we really stand for. Um, all right, so cookies. I want some cookies. Okay, all right, someone brought in some cookies today in the office. Our office is about a quarter gluten-free. Um, these were unlabeled, so we're going to test them out and see if we can munch down and chow down right now. So Let's as I'm, I'm opening the packaging first of this capsule, this is a one-time use capsule. Um, here it is, little NEMA capsule, as you can see with a little wheat icon up here. And what I'm going to do is take a pea-sized amount of a cookie, okay? Pea-sized so amount. Here's a cookie. Important. That's really key, okay? So when I, when I take a pea-sized amount, I'm going to confirm this with Scott because he's <laughs> he, pea-sized amount. Like, that looks like a pea-sized amount. All right, that everyone right. see that pea-sized amount? Pea-sized. <laughs> I know peas come in different sizes. This is more of a smaller pea. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put it in this capsule. The action of putting the top in, and you hear that grinding sign is actually grinding sound is actually grinding the food. What do you do with that, that green ring there? Oh, the green ring, key. You want the green ring to disappear all the way, and then you know that you have screwed on the cap completely. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. Green, ri green ring disappears, pea-sized amount in there, grinding it all the way, and then we close, put it in, lock it in, and turn it on. Turn it on once just to initiate the screen. Two seconds. Okay, here we go. One more time. <laughs> there it is. And then turn it on to, to start the test. So again, hold it down for two seconds to initiate the screen, and then once to initiate the test. Yeah, and so as that's running, uh, I saw a question come in on our Facebook page here uh, from Christian. Is the NEMA firmware updatable via USB? So actually, NEMA firmware is not updatable via USB, but it is updatable via our mobile app. So we have an app uh, both on iOS uh, and a firmware updating app via Android that um, every time we have new updates, uh, then you can do a very quick firmware update via that and everyone will get a notification as soon as there, there is a firmware update out. Someone also asked about the capsule price. So these are going to be retailing at $60 per pack of 12. And we think those 12 can last you between one and two months depending on how often you're eating out. Um, so that's what the, the pack of the capsules will be. And you can subscribe to the amount that makes sense for how often you want to use NEMA. Yeah. So what's going on right now? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but NEMA's working hard. What it's doing is it's taking that sample, it's mixing it, it's grinding it, and it's metering it to the capsule. And the capsule has all this unique chemistry that mm -hmm. our team has been working on in the last few years to really be able to extract that very small amount of gluten in that sample. And then the sensor's picking up whether or not the presence of gluten is present in that one sample that you're testing. Um, and it takes between two and three minutes, depending on the amount of food that you're testing, a few minutes. Um, and that's, uh, you know, it's really uh, a great, great opportunity for you to just have that extra data point when you're eating out. Yeah. And uh, so we just got another question that came in that uh, one was, why can't I find the NEMA app on my iPhone? Well, the answer to that is because the app is launching tomorrow. <laughs> so you will be able to find it on your iPhone tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we're, we're just really excited to, to get this out there. Um, there's also a question about an on-off switch. So the way that NEMA works in terms of going on and off is it actually will automatically turn itself off after the test result has been displayed. But you can also turn it off by holding down this button for two seconds. So holding it down for two seconds turns it on, holding it down for two seconds turns it off. Exactly. And the yeah. two seconds is key. I got so excited to be on Facebook Live, I just, <laughs> I just jumped the gun. So yeah. hold it down for two seconds, initiate the test, and then hold it down one more time to start the test. Yeah. So here we can also pull up our NEMA app here. I don't know how visible this will be for you guys, but you can see it's loading the app. I don't know if you can, uh, can actually see this or not, but there is an app there, I promise. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, the home page that you get to is, uh, and this is for the iPhone app, you get a, a map. So just the area around you. We've already started adding in a bunch of test results to this um, in the San Francisco and the Boston areas. Um, you might not be able to see them from the camera there. Um, but then the other feature is that you actually, you get every test result sent to the phone. 
So then when I get this test result to my phone, I can tag it to the restaurant that I ate at, I can tag it to the specific food, and then everyone else who has a NEMA app can then go in there and see all those test results that have been added. So when we have thousands of people using NEMAs, that's gonna be hundreds of thousands of data points. All of those data points can go back to you guys and that's gonna be really helpful for you to be able to know where you can go and eat and what's actually gonna be healthy for yeah. you. Yeah, imagine a whole internet of food. Okay, we're gonna flip, flip this around. We just got a result here. I don't know if you guys see. can see that, but there's a little icon that shows that gluten has been found. It's gonna <laughs> float towards you magically. <laughs> Wow, Nima can fly, that's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> so there was, in fact, gluten in these cookies. So, so. I'm gonna wash my hands. Yep, um, that means that we are not definitely gonna not be eating these, these cookies, <laughs> unfortunately. But this is the power of Nima, right? You can see that uh, we now know what is in this food, and we know that um, Shreen probably shouldn't eat this food. No, so. no. Yeah. Scott, can we access raw data and how is data logged? Raw data. So we can access the data that, uh, and by, by we, I assume that we mean our customers here. So <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm going to assume yes, that. That yes, that's a different answer. Yes. Yes. So the, the raw <laughs> data, the only way that this data gets shared is if you as a user decide to share it. So we want to make sure that um, everything is completely decided by our users. We don't want to push out data that you don't want there. Um, and there's also the option to tag any test result anonymously. Um, what, what we can see from that also then is we on our end, we can get a better sense of just what, what amount of food actually is gluten-free or not and right. what different places are good. So we can elevate through our app data, give suggestions out to the community saying, hey, this, this new restaurant in your area, they're having a bunch of gluten-free results and provide more information like that to, to everyone. Absolutely, and yeah. we're starting with iOS for, for uh, and then also an Android app will be available. However, the thing to note about the Android app, it's for firmware updates to start and eventually we'll plan to have all the features um, also available on Android. That's so that's right. to start, it's going to be for firmware updates to keep your NEMA current and smart and eventually all the features that will be available on iOS will also be available on Android. Yeah. We got another great question here about combining food in a capsule. And you can combine food as long as you keep the overall amount of food very, very small to that pea size amount. We've seen people like to put a little bit of, if there's a chicken with a sauce, they might take a tiny bit of where the grill mark is on the chicken, put a little bit of the sauce in there to get a sense of was there cross-contamination um, or any issue there. So it's uh, it's really, really uh, you know a, a powerful right. tool. Yeah, and people are sometimes surprised by how small amount of a food that you actually have to put in there. And yeah. so even if you're, if you're testing a dish that has multiple different types of food and you want to test all those, still all you need is a total of having a pea-sized amount. Totally. And even with that tiny amount of food, we can still detect it. This test is uh, sensitive down to the part per million level. Um, so we're going to pick up that gluten that's in the food, and even if there's multiple pieces in there. Right. Um, we will be, um, oh, if there's too much food, there's, that's a great question, mm -hmm. um, the device will likely give an, a state an error state where it just didn't run properly. So yeah. it's not going to give you a false result, it will just give you no result. That's so right. it, you know, it's really important to make sure you do not overfeed NEMA, just yeah. a pea-sized amount. Nemo's just a little hungry, not a lot hungry. So, <laughs> yeah, and we want to make sure this is a it is a chemistry based test, and so if you put too much food in there, or say even uh, too much of uh, something like a flour, a very powdery food, um, because it's chemistry based, that can clog up the system. So yeah. that's why that pea size amount is really important. Yeah, and you know this is the first time that Nima is on the market, and it's going to be in people's hands. And we want your your feedback. If there's anything that's unexpected, you know we want we would love you to reach out. And Another quick question about availability beyond the United States, specifically to Spain um, and other countries. I'll, I'll speak to. We're focused on the U.S. first for next year, um, as you know, where plans are to expand internationally. But the focus is, will be the United States for the next year, and that's because we really want to make sure we have a great experience before we um, we expand globally. But yeah. we recognize this is a global pain point, and we cannot wait to get into everyone's hands so you can test that Spanish tortilla. Yeah. And Shreen, what, what types of food can we test? Can we test liquids, solids, powders? Great question. Um, we can <laughs> test liquids. Um, the one caveat there is um, we cannot test alcohol um, and also fermented um, foods. There's a list of all the foods that NEMA does not work with, um, and yeah. that's going to be available on our website that as is. well, our user manual that Scott 
it's also available in here. So the different yeah. types of foods that we cannot test, which, yeah. like Shereen said, alcohols, fermented foods. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I think there is a question around if NEMA is deductible. Um, By a prescription. So if there's a prescription mm. for, for uh, NEMA or available through a uh, HSA plan. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, so we actually, you know, uh, we, we believe there's potential there, but we can't take a, you know, we have a statement on this. We've seen some of our pre-orders use flexible spend accounts to cover their NEMAs, um, but, uh, you know, it's something in the future that we're really focused on mm -hmm. having those right partnerships and being able to um, make this product as accessible as possible. But for now, um, we can say, you know, out of pocket. Yeah. We had another question come in about, um, who has done testing on this product and how we validated it. So we've done uh, a handful of things here. One is we've run thousands of tests um, within our own team and on the product, just making sure that we validated it really well. Um, we've also taken our chemistry and uh, with a third party lab, validated the chemistry itself versus what else is considered with the, the gold standard. And um, we'll post, actually we have already posted on the Facebook page here, um, our blog post about that validation study. Um, the third thing that we're in the process of doing right now is a full third-party validation on the product itself. So um, we, we feel really strongly about that we have to do a lot of testing, but we want to make sure that we're also having other labs do that testing. And we publish all the testing data that we do and make it available on our blog or in, in news releases. There's a question about if restaurants with 100% gluten-free mm. kitchens can participate with mapping and advertise. Um, we want to make sure that NEMA, every, every restaurant that has a gluten-free offering eventually has NEMA, but if there's certain restaurants that you have in mind, please send them our way. I'm happy to make sure they get covered in, um, in our user testing. Yeah. So uh, we definitely think there's a lot of opportunity for NEMA and restaurant partnerships in the future, and just focus on getting this into the hands of users first and then thinking about all of that potential. Yeah. And I saw another question come in about the timing of Android features and also a question related about um, when we're getting this app data onto the desktop. Um, so for the Android side of it, uh, we are actively actually working on updating some of those features now. We're going to roll them out as quickly as we can. Uh, and we definitely, for, for us, the way that we think about it is we really want to make sure that we are fitting the need of, of all our users and really addressing uh, everything for them. So. Uh, we're working on that right now, and we'll start rolling out additional features uh, likely before the end of the year and definitely uh, early next year. Also on iOS, we'll continuously be updating those features and getting new things out. Um, for the desktop app, uh, we are definitely also looking into that. That will come a little bit further down the road. Um, we're focused on mobile first and making sure that really that uh, we've seen the behavior of uh, people using our product and what people want from our product. It's a lot of times it's on the go. It's when you're out. Uh, out and about with your friends, needing to go to a restaurant, and having that access on your phone is what we've seen is the most important. So that was where we wanted to focus first. But to Scott's point, absolutely want to make sure you have the data where you like to consume data. So eventually, want to get in all those touch points. Yeah. So I wanted to see the close up close of the up. packaging. So I think we can pull <laughs> this off maybe a little ungracefully, but um, here at the end at the end okay i'm getting direction here at the end a little awkward sorry right. okay. uh yeah so we got another question about um partnering with with gluten-free kitchens um with advertising and um, having that information in the app and that's uh, definitely something that we want to do. We've started looking into this a little bit too just with blog posts initially of finding, um, finding gluten-free restaurants, places that are 100% gluten-free because that can be very important for people uh, just wanting to make sure that, that they're going to have any option on the menu to, to eat. Just a quick plug for one of the restaurants yeah. in San Francisco, Pika Pika. It's on the 15th and Mission. The restaurant owner has a lot of pride in, in serving a 100% gluten-free menu. And she asked us to test everything on their menu. We did that um, not only with NEMA, but also sent out to a lab for third-party lab testing. Um, and everything came back as uh, gluten-free, uh, which was awesome. And of course, that's one point in time. Supplies suppliers change and you never know you know what might happen so it's important to have that data and always equip yourself with you know anema in case you know there is that change next time you go out so mm -hmm. that's if you're in the Bay Area and you are avoiding gluten Pika Pika is delicious and gluten-free validated validated, validated by NEMA. NEMA yeah 
So we had another question about uh, free trials to, to test Nemo before buying. So uh, we're currently not doing free trials, but we are very active out in the community. Um, we're constantly at gluten-free trade shows, um, other places, and uh, we throw events uh, very often. And we love to have people come in and get to test out NEMA and see it for themselves. And um, even events like this, we want to make sure that people uh, get to see NEMA in action, get to see how it works. So. Um, we are going to, what's the next gluten-free trade show that we're going to? I believe it's in L, L, uh, in Secaucus, in Secaucus, yeah, so we'll be there um, later this year and it's a great gluten-free trade show yeah. and I believe on our website um, we do, uh, in our, on our newsletter if you guys sign up, we often give you a list of where the events will be for the fall, um, so it's, it's a great, and for the rest of the year, so it's a great place to know where NEMA is going to pop up near your neighborhood. Yeah, so we, we got another question about um, if, if you're subscribing, mm -hmm. then will the capsules continue to be useful in the future? Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things that, that we're looking at is really um, with the way that NEMA is designed, that there will be potential for adding additional capsules in the future, adding um, just other, other products, peanut and dairy. Um, with this version of NEMA, we're, uh, we're really trying to make sure that we can add in as much as possible to this version. Um, but there are definitely, I mean, there are always new technologies coming out, new ways to make this product better. Um, our number one focus is to make sure that we are delivering the most user-friendly and the most accurate and the best experience that we can for users. Uh, so part of that is making sure that um, if you've bought a product and you want to use it for a long time, that you can do that. Another part of that is making sure that we're getting you the best technology and uh, the best hardware that we can. So um, there will likely be, be changes to the product in the future and we'll also make sure that we think about uh, how to make sure that our, our original users, our first pre-orders, um, that they're really uh, treated as, as well as they should be. Absolutely. We're, we're starting to fulfill pre-orders, so we're shipping uh, now throughout the fall. So this is a really, really exciting time for NEMA and hopefully millions of people who need better information about their food. Yeah. And how long do the capsules last? The capsules. So the capsules uh, do have an expiration date on them. And uh, one of the reasons why we're doing this in the subscription model is because of that uh, expiration date. We don't want to ship out a bunch that then you've paid for and you're not able to use. So right now the, uh, the expiration uh, period on those is about um, nine months from the date that we, we manufacture them. And so we want to make sure that we're, we're always shipping you product and you have several months to use it. And also with the subscription model, um, there's always the opportunity to pause it. You can do that very easily on the website. Um, you can increase the, sub the subscription or decrease it. So we want to make sure that um, we're not going to sell you some product that then ends up expiring and that you can't use. That, that's not helpful for you and that's uh, not helpful for us either. Mm. Yeah. Let's see, what's the next question we got here? So, uh, mm. a question about capsules for different allergens. So, um, we are currently in process of uh, working on the chemistry development for next allergens. And the way that that will work is essentially you would have uh, one capsule, the same, uh, same size, shape, we might put some different colors on there, but essentially the exact same hardware, and within it, the chemistry would be different. So what that means is that the NEMA would be the same. Um, this might be a, a new generation of NEMA, but NEMA would be the same, and you would be able to have one capsule for gluten, one for peanut, one for any of the other, uh, other products that we go into. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Hi, everyone <laughs> on Facebook Live. You guys are awesome. These are such good questions, really. Yeah. <laughs> so. Sure. Okay, packaging, we're getting closer. Here we Close go. Up. This is a really dramatic event. Yeah. Close it. I wish we had some we music go. to play here. Can you see it? <laughs> this is a good stretch, too. And then we can pull out the capsules as well. Oh, and actually this is another fun thing that we can show. Uh, here, grab, grab the instructions here too, and you can show the instructions on the side of the capsule. So on the side of each capsule, we have actually an indication of uh, the pea-sized amount on the one side, not that side, the other one. So there you can see the food amount. And then also on the other side, we actually have the instructions for you. So you can see uh, 
feed NEMA, put some food in NEMA, screw the cap until the green ring disappears. And so uh, if for some reason you ever forget, the instructions are always there with you. And this is our beautiful floating magic box. <laughs> Another feature of NEMA. Just floats right to you. <laughs> capsules, a question around capsule one time use. Yes, we think about one capsule per meal. Again, you can put multiple things from your plate in that capsule as long as the overall amount is pea size. The reason why they're one time use is because we're detecting such a small amount, um, cross contamination, and the way the chemistry is designed is that it's, it's just one time use and, uh, and, it, and then it's done. So yeah, that's why it's a re reuse, um, refillable capsule. So we just had another question come in from Joshua. Uh, can you bring NEMA through TSA? Great question, Joshua. Great, great question. It's important. A lot of people want to use yeah. NEMA while traveling. And the answer is yes, you can take NEMA through TSA. Um, we've carried many, many NEMAs uh, through the airport. Uh, I've personally used NEMA on an airplane um, over the Atlantic. And What was it? Was it gluten-free? It was, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got the... Uh, I forget what airline it was. It was the gluten-free meal, you know. It was the airline food. Airline. <laughs> the gluten-free airline food. It wasn't wasn't delicious, but it was gluten-free. I could eat it. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, I think uh, we're we're wrapping up here. Um, this Let's is see. fantastic questions again. You guys are a great audience. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing the unboxing experience with us. Let us know um, what you'd like to see for the next show. And, and if, if there's dishes you want us to test, you can, you know, uh, any comments, hit us up at Instagram or Twitter at NEMA Sensor. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Uh, thank you again. This has been really fun. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>